Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to, or not welcome back, welcome to a brand new video. The very first video on my seventh channel. Um, today we're gonna do a makeover of Rory Oklo. I love how she came out so much. Oh my god. She honestly, I just, I pretty much just kept her same look and style and everything like that. I didn't change too much of her body or her face or anything. Um, I came this, or came, came, kept, oh my god, English. I kept the same look and vibe that she gave off. I kept actually the same hair because I just feel like the hair is just her, you know, it works for her. It's pretty much just her hair. But I tried a bunch of different ones and they just didn't work out. But basically I wanted to do a makeover on her because her backstory is very interesting. It's actually really good. Like, honestly, I love it. I love it. It's a very good story and you can definitely add on to the story. But if you don't know Rory, she was actually born a human which I didn't know that. She was born a human and raised in a human family. And uh, before she arrived to Moonwood Mill, she never met a spellcaster or a vampire or like any other um, supernaturals. So she became a vampire. I'm not sure how she became a vampire. It doesn't quite say, or not a vampire. Oh my God, a wolf, a werewolf. Um, it doesn't say, but her, she wants to fight Vlad. She wants to fight Vlad to assert her dominance because Vladdy Daddy is the daddy of everyone, you know? Vladdy Daddy is so... Mm. He's the daddy of everyone. He's the big boss. But, um... Rory wants to fight him so she can be the big boss of everyone, you know? She wants to be the mommy. She wants to be the big mommy. Um, but Christopher is her adoptive father, you know? The one that um, owns the pack or is the leader of the pack of the Moon... Not Moonwood. <laughs> oh my god. Of the Moonwood Collectives. He's the leader, and they're, are, um, he's the adoptive father of Rory, and her adoptive brother, Jacob, they still have a good relationship, but Christopher and her do not have a good relationship. I think it's because, um, she wants to embrace her fury, she just wants to, like, she thinks that they should be able to be their fury, you know, when they become big wolves, and they want to embrace it, they think it's like a... It's a part of them, pretty much. They should embrace it. And the Moonwood Collective wants to more keep it like a down low, kind of more chill vibe. And yeah, so it just doesn't, you know, so they just kind of like broke up. Not broke up, but they just pretty much stopped. They didn't have a good, they don't have a good relationship, pretty much. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh my God, that was a lot. But she wants to, um, she endorses the importance to keeping fit to a woman named Mora. Mora? Moira? Mora? I think that's how you say it. And so she wants to, she always like exercises and everything so she can keep fit and stuff. Sorry I'm a mess this part or this episode or this video. I'm, it's very awkward to record. I'm very, it's still, I'm trying to get used to it again, but it's very hard. But that's basically the backstory and the rest of the makeover. I love how she turned out. It's, uh, I love it. She turned out amazing. But thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Check my social media. Links are down in the description. Instagram, Tumblr, and Twitter. And turn on notifications so every time I post a video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys. Try to stay strong and fake a 